Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. Geeky Sparkles is sitting this video out, but we're going to talk about Back to the Future for a possible Back to the Future reboot and how the series creator thinks it's a terrible idea. God, I wish more creators of classic IP would come out and say it's a really bad idea to try to reboot this. This was lightning in a bottle. You can't reproduce it. You can make new things that maybe resonate with uh, with uh, current generations, uh, make new things that maybe were inspired by things that were done in the past, but let's not go back to the same wells again and again and again, because at one point in time, Back to the Future was a very new thing. Indiana Jones was a very new thing. Star Wars was a very new thing. And the reason we don't get new things is everybody wants to go back and create sequels, unnecessary sequels, unnecessary reboots of great movies. Leave them alone. I think this is fantastic. Bob Gale's always been very uh, protective of Back to the Future, and he is echoing George Lucas in this, saying that he does not want to sell his children out for a quick buck from Hollywood. So let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. Um, check out clownfishtv.com for more objective pop culture news. This is coming from Screen Rant. So I guess this happened, uh, they're doing a Back to the Future show. And uh, they were asking questions and talking about the possibility of a Back to the Future 4. And I know Michael J. Fox has weighed in on it. And he's basically like, I don't care what they do. I cash my check. I spent the money. I don't care what they do. It's not mine to do anything with. But Bob Gale does not echo those sentiments. And I, I actually agree with Bob Gale. Those are three very good movies or two and a half very good movies. <laughs> And we do not need any more Back to the Future. Uh, Back to the Future 4 possibilities get a brutal response from franchise co-creator. Uh, Back to the Future 4's chances receive a brutally honest blow from one of the beloved franchise's co-writers and co-creators, Bob Gale. He said it's not going to happen. Uh, he shares his brutally honest opinion on whether Back to the Future 4 will actually happen. Co-written by Gale. The Back to the Future trilogy was released from 85 to 90 following the time-traveling adventures of Marty McFly and Doc Brown, right? Um, though the sequels aren't as acclaimed as the original, the trilogy has cultivated a dedicated fan following that has long wondered about the possibility of a fourth film. Don't do that. Nine times out of ten, no good can come from this. I wish we had a time machine to travel to the future. I wish there was a time machine. In uh, 2012, and George Lucas could go, get in that 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 DeLorean or whatever the hell it is, a Volkswagen, a Fiat, get into it, go into the future, to 2017, and look at the state of Star Wars. Be like, oh, hey, yeah, I just watched The Last Jedi. Let's go back to 2012 and, and tear up that contract and not sell my company to Disney and just be like, six movies, good enough, we're done. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> During a recent interview with Variety at a benefit performance of Back to the Future, the musical for the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research, uh, Gail commented on whether Back to the Future 4 will ever happen. The franchise's co-creator says that demand for a fourth film is driven by love for the original and a desire for a nostalgic experience, which he believes will be provided by the musical. In turn, Gail sees no need to make another sequel. No need. People say, why don't you guys do Back to the Future Part 4? When they say that, they're saying, I want something that makes me feel as good as the original did. Remember, in 1985, it was a new movie. It was a brand new thing, right? The reason we don't get new things, we talk about this. Why, why are we stuck in a rut, in a time loop? Is because these studios, they want this too. They, they're like, we want to go back and make as much money as we did back in the day. We don't want to take chances on new things. All of these beloved franchises from the 70s, 80s, 90s, all of these things at one point in time were brand new. Brand new. They were all risks. And uh, sometimes it paid off. You know, sometimes it didn't pay off. But uh, Back to the Future definitely paid off. That's what this is, he said. That's the feeling you're going to get when you see this show. There's no need to go back to that well. You've seen too many people go back too many times. As I've said many times before, the characters in Back to the Future are my family, my children. You don't sell your kids into prostitution. I think that is a direct reference to George Lucas saying that he sold Star Wars into prostitution. 
literally came out and said he sold Star Wars to white slavers. And we've seen what Disney has done with Star Wars. Do you, we've seen what Paramount's done with Star Trek. We've seen Doctor Who. We've seen all these things. You know, do you want this to happen to Back to the Future? Or are we content to be like, yep, we got three pretty good movies and they existed in a certain time and place. And I've got really good memories of those movies. And I do not want to go back for more. I think that's 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 the takeaway here. I think it's a, a cautionary tale. I think Star Wars died so other franchises <laughs> could live and just exist as memories. And, um, you know, we need to definitely uh, move on. We need to move on and find the next Back to the Future. You know, we need to find the next Star Wars. Um, it's, it's time to move on. Um, you know? Back to the Future is one of many examples of beloved movies that never necessitated a sequel, but their box office success led to their conception. That's true. Back to the Future was a good standalone movie. You know, I think RoboCop was a good standalone movie. Now, I didn't hate the sequels, the Back to the Future sequels, but they they weren't nece- they really weren't necessary. And you can tell that it was conceived of as a standalone movie. But the result was uh, two sequels, which were filmed back to back, that were widely considered inferior to the original, but were good enough to make for a serviceable trilogy. Back to the Future 3 ended the trilogy on a bittersweet, satisfying note by having Doc stay back in 1885 with Clara. Gail clearly cares a lot about his characters and is content with the ending they got. During a time when every classic movie seems to be getting a reboot, revival, or legacy sequel, it's refreshing to hear that the Back to the Future co-creator be content with the original ending and protective of the property so many other people love, right? Michael J. Fox retired from acting due to Parkinson's, and it would be nearly impossible to imagine Back to the Future without the actor as Marty McFly. No, they'd do it. They'd cast a girl, I'm sure, a diverse girl in the lead and just upend everything. And uh, he said, yeah, he said he got his check. Um, he doesn't care really uh, what happens. And uh, you know, that's, that's an actor, right? I mean, I'm sure he, I'm sure he's got really good memories of, of filming the movie and all that and interactions with fans and all that, that stuff. But yeah, I mean, he, he got his check, right? A lot of, sometimes, sometimes people that worked in these things aren't as attached to it as the fandom, but I don't think we need a sequel. I don't think we need sequels or reboots or whatever reimaginings of so many things. I mean, so many inferior reboots have been released over the last 20 years. Again, I talked about RoboCop. Does anybody remember the RoboCop from what was it? 2012, the one with Michael Keaton? Nobody remembers that. And it's for the best. Nobody really remembers RoboCop two and three. But they remember the original RoboCop. <laughs> you know, that's all we need. The original RoboCop was a fantastic movie. We don't, don't even need a two and three. Just, you know, it is what it is, guys. It is time to move on. I'm happy to hear him say that. That being said, Universal owns the rights and they could totally strip mine this thing. I hope to God they don't. Actually, what I'd like to see Universal, if you're going to do anything, bring the damn ride back. The Simpsons ride is garbage compared to the Back to the Future ride. Bring the ride back to Universal. Give it an update. People would love it. It'd be very retro. You could do the whole thing. It'd be fantastic. Bring that back. Going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. We'll talk later.